Hi, I'm Avon Tenorio, and I'm discussing uh, ocean exploration and why the government should fund their money there. And um, my first reason is uh, we should we should discover everything on our planet and um, talk about why why we shouldn't go other places first because if you really look at our, our Earth, it's 75% ocean. And we have, and we've only discovered about five percent of the ocean. And um, what I'd like to talk about is, um, who who knows what's at the bottom of these oceans? There could be, um, we could all, we could find new elements down there, and um, who knows what we could do with these elements? We could help. There could be like the cure for cancer down there, we, because we've explored just about everything around here except our rainforests. But who knows what's at the ocean? We could find the cure for cancer, find the cure for any, like, anything else, so who know, we just, we don't know yet, and, um, not with just the cures and stuff with that, but we could also find, pa the, the past is down there, we could find something that somebody dumped off, or that someone threw out there from, geez, millions, billions of years ago, and, and, and it could change the way of what we thought, the way something worked, or, it can just kind of change the history of things, of, of what somebody left behind. And it's just why, why we should, we should, we have to finish exploring here first before we're deciding to leave our planet. Yeah, there could be more out there, but we've only have 5% of our ocean discovered. We need to finish discovering it. And um, the thing I also like is um, is we're not we're not spending very much money on the ocean to discover compared to most things that that we explore. It's it's not as much. And I'd like to close with just we need to finish discovering our our own planet before we head out. Okay. So now we get three minutes of prep time. Starting now. I'm Colton Williams, and I'm here to explain why we believe, Jordan and I believe, that exploring space could be more beneficial than staying on Earth and exploring the oceans. Avon said that only 5% of the Earth has been explored, um, or the, the ocean has been explored, and that's true, but imagine what that means for the space. I mean, if only 5% of Earth has been explored, there's so much more to be discovered in space. NASA is a worldwide known company. They've already invested billions of dollars into space exploration. So if we're spending so much money into space exploration, the payoff has to be huge whenever they do find something. Um, I mean, we're, we're growing at such a rapid pace that he's right, we have left Earth and the ocean exploration behind because we believe that there's more out there. We believe that we can uh, expand our research. Um, Planets could contain precious materials. I know he said the bottom of the ocean could contain maybe um, cures for cancer. That could be true. And who's to say that that wouldn't happen in space? You could find cures for cancer. You could find maybe more fossil fuels. And also online I read that Mars is so similar to Earth that people could actually be living on Mars within the next 30 years. 
and that's all because of exploration. We're understanding more about other planets, and Mars needs to be explored because it's the only other planet in the solar system that could potentially be lived on, like I just said. And it said by 2030, if atmospheric conditions are similar to Earth. So we just have to make sure that it's you can breathe on it, and it would be able to live on without hurting humans. Um, and I think that's about all I have for right now. Hi, I'm Josh Mosier, and I'm going to attack what he just said. Alright, I'd like to start off with, since he says that they spend billions and it pays off, I'm pretty sure not every trip to Mars or to space really paid off in finding something new. So that's just billions just spent just going off into a, into another place just to find nothing right there. And then I'd like to go off, um, I'll fund the ocean projects because um, the the ocean project should set up a program which will help out ocean exploration like for new equipment so it can go deeper into the ocean and find better stuff down there like more information and maybe find that those elements and those new species of fish you know you don't know what might be down there um, might be fossils and then um, the cost for that would probably be 270 million for the first year, then uh, 100 million for every year after that, and that's really cheap compared to the billions of what NASA pays just to get the spaceship up and for every year of maintaining all those new, new technology and looking for new technologies. Um, so basically, uh, the ocean exploration, you know, they could go out, just get in their boat, you know, go out to the, like, place where they want to look for, and, you know, just, just go down and see what's down there instead of months of prep and a launch that might not even go right, might crash into the, the earth, and then with this ocean exploration you know maybe you could go in and find something new every time you know maybe not but you're not like thousands of miles away from earth where if you don't find anything new you just spend all that money and this you can go back and go just go out another day to find more information about that spot or a new spot and then well, I go to Mars space when our planet has not all been discovered because like what Abram said about 5% of the ocean has been actually discovered and they're wanting to go to outer space before they discover our full planet and I think that's we should discover our planet see what's in the, in the deep blue before we go to space spend all that money that this country don't have. Um, and plus, it's less danger to the environment. We got all those rocket launches that puts carbon and all the fuels into the atmosphere when it launches off. And, you know, all the things that go with that. And all the ocean exploration has is the boats that just go back and forth just like a like a car in this planet and then um, and then uh, for the ocean the space exploration it takes years just to 
get that, that right technology just to go into, into the Mars and maybe find uh, what they're looking for. And even if you use a, a space drone or a spacecraft drone, that it it takes less people, but it takes more people to maintain it and like run it down at Earth. <coughs> and it takes all the all the metals and the fuel just to get it there, and it, which we could be saving that fuel for the uh, the environment. And then, and then again, it doesn't do that much damage to the environment. That's all I have. All right, Jordan. Great to meet. We have two minute prep time. So, you can use that uh, because you can use that. You need to be recording the so much. You can use that. I mean, the ships are running here. If they it's always equipment. 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 See what lamp is going to be in the boat and the volcano is changing. I predict to find nothing in this. I can't go out to the ocean. Search the ocean. I can't go out to the ocean. I'm Jordan, and uh, I'm going to disagree with Josh on some things. He said when we spend billions of dollars to go up to Mars or these other planets to find things, we may potentially not find anything at all. The same thing can go for ocean exploration. They could go out to the ocean, go and search it, and potentially find nothing. So it goes both ways. Also, since NASA is spending and advancing so fast, like we have all this technology to get out to space faster and potentially find something faster that could help cure cancer or find useful minerals like fossil fuels and things like that. Um, yeah, it costs more, but like this, that's the benefits of it because, you know, you find things a lot faster. And with the pollution, the harmful gases that rockets put out into the air, it only, really only like half pollutes it because since a rocket shoots up so fast into the atmosphere, it's only polluting it when it's in our atmosphere. Once it gets into space, it's not harmful anymore. As to the ships that ocean exploration have, it's always there. It's always in our atmosphere. It's always in our oceans. So those gases from those ships are always polluting our atmosphere, which is potentially worse than rockets shooting off. And because ex the space is limitless, ocean is only confined here. So like, since space is so limitless, there are so many more opportunities to find things and discover more and better things due to space exploration. So, uh, and my reasons for why space exploration is potentially better than ocean exploration. Yeah, hey, Abraham Siegel, and you can get two minute prep time if you want. So we're on two minute prep time right now.
Well, I mean, even again, what I'd like to start with is, is uh, what they, the main thing he pointed out, Jordan talked about, is uh, what I noticed he said is he said we could find stuff faster. And I would really like to disagree with that because traveling in space, you know, it takes it takes years to get around up there. It's not like the ocean, you know, you can travel for about four, three hours and be where you need to be. And um, yeah, it takes it takes going at the speed of light. It takes over. It takes years to get around. I really don't honestly don't believe we could explore faster in space. Yeah, we may be able to find more, but it's gonna take a lot of time and. We're not getting any younger. It's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of time. And uh, he also put said that we need ships to get around. Well, I honestly don't think they're using ships and and stuff for the exploration. Yeah, they need, they may need a bigger boat or something to ship their products or some marines and out there to explore the ocean. But it, it does not take a ship. And what I'd also really like to point out is he says. He talked about how much it cost, and the space exploration, the NASA, the foundation of NASA, and stuff, they are using over 17 billion dollars, according, according to, according to, according to Zerbin.com, they are using over 17 billion dollars to explore space, and as for the ocean exploration project they were only using in the millions which is about 270 million and a hundred after each year so it is a lot cheaper when we could when we don't have to travel very far and we could just explore on our on our own home with mother earth and uh the thing is, is I think uh, space exploration, using the rocket, is I think it's very hurtful to our economy because we're, our ozone layer is already pretty bad and getting destroyed of helping us protect us from the sun's UV rays, UAV rays. And um, with the rocket, it takes uh, three three tons of fuel is burnt just to just to get it up, just to get out of our atmosphere. And, and to leave the atmosphere, but what's all, where's all that exhaust and everything going? It's staying here and destroying our planet, as a, as of everything else we've got here to, to destroying down. With uh, the submarines, it's below the water and everything. We won't have to use as much as it's burning. And, and with using that much gas, where the economy is already hurting on gas, we're having to go wars with other people for gas and. It's not, I don't think it'd be worth it when we could discover our own planet. And those are what I pointed out. I'd like to attack what Abram and Josh both just said. They were talking about how spaceships don't get very good fuel economy and how gas is already so expensive. Well, what DailyMail.com said is 16% of the world's largest ships can create as much pollution as all the cars in the world. So that must tell you that they don't get very good fuel economy either. It takes 200 gallons of fuel per nautical mile to move a cargo ship. And I know they were talking about how submarines don't use as much gas, but they can't hold enough gas to be able to get out into the ocean and, and go all the way underneath into the depths of the sea and explore. So you're going to need a big ship to carry those submarines and all the crew workers and everything that you're going to need while you're on that voyage. So it's going to take a lot of fuel. What I think is, with the money already being spent for NASA and all the exploring that they're doing right now, I don't understand why we would stop. I mean, 5% of the ocean in the Earth has been explored, yeah, but if you go out and you're exploring a whole new universe, I mean, that's, we haven't even started to begin exploring yet, and I think that we could potentially find a lot more useful materials. Mm. 
Oh, ships have a lot of black smoke coming out from the top of when they're running. They're always putting out black smoke. And if you think about it, I mean, they're damaging humans and they're hurting their health because they're they're on the piers and the ports and and everybody's just getting hurt by pollution. So I think that we should ask the government to keep funding for space exploration because it would be most beneficial to all of us. Thank you. I'd like to um, do the conclusion, and due to the, ex the e expenses and time, I think that the ocean floor should be explored instead of the, using billions of dollars spent for space travel, and to s see if something is even there for like the space, like see if there's new life or anything, because most likely it's not going to be there if we haven't found it already. So, I would like to say that. And, um, this is our planet, and we'd like to be discovered. So we need to, uh, know what's out there and, you know, discover our ocean and everything else. So, we we'll do that too. And then, and then, uh, also, this ocean floor explorers is uh, don't take as much money for just going out there and seeing what's underneath the waves. Thank you. I saw Jordan here. You like this, right? You got a little minute of prep time. All right, to conclude this debate, um, both sides brought up valuable points, and uh, overall exploring the universe will be more beneficial in the end because it's, it's just so vast. You know, you, you don't know what's out there. there. There's plenty of minerals and resources ready to be found, and uh, NASA has the technology and money to do so. So, uh, yeah, this debate is concluded. Good job, man. Good job, Josh. Thank you.